What is that bewitching scent you're wearing? Vicks Vapor Rub. <clears throat> Very alluring. Where do you have it on you? My neck. Is that the only place? Well, I put it on my lip, but you're not supposed to because it can give you bloody noses. And it does, but I feel like it helps. <laughs> did we do anything romantic for Valentine's Day? I don't remember. What did we do? If you don't remember, <laughs> it's probably a no. I guess it could have been that great then. When's your birthday? February 13th. So there's two straight days where I can't get a date. Right. I did like the uh, Super Bowl commercial with the uh, Dun King. The Boston Massacre! The Dun Kings! Touchdown Tommy on them keys! With Tom Brady. Was in it. Tom, you can stay. Who else was in it? Well, Ben Affleck. I'm not really a big fan of his. But Matt Damon. Eh. And Jennifer Lopez. I'm not really a big fan of her either. So yeah, I don't know. Tom, you can stay. I love this commercial with all these people I don't like. Tom, you can stay. Speaking of the Super Bowl, it's kind of why one of the reasons we're having this conversation, our, our first okay. conversation in probably a week. What were your thoughts on the Super Bowl? I was kind of hoping the 49ers would win, but... Why? I don't know. I was just kind of getting sick of all the Taylor Swift, Kelsey stuff. You don't think it was good that Travis Kelsey, like, physically assaulted his own coach? Oh, I thought he looked like a buffoon. He's a complete moron. Yeah, I think he looked like a complete idiot. Yeah. And so, so Taylor... Even, wait, even the way he spoke at the end? <laughs> Jeez, kingdom! Aha! I mean, one, why was he even on the podium? He wasn't the MVP. Patrick Mahomes was. The coach was there because he's the coach. The coach. Why? Like the quarterback kind of? Yeah, I don't even know his name, but... H having said that, are you happy for Taylor Swift? Oh, no. You can't be happy for her? I mean, she can have her opinion. It's like, you like red, I like blue, whatever. So you like blue? <laughs> no, I actually like red. <laughs> yeah, I guess I missed a joke. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> anyway. Let's talk about... Uh, the Cheerios thing, because you were really mad about that in, like, our prior video. Oh, yeah. Maybe when you were eating Cheerios and let them fall on the floor and didn't pick them up. <laughs> Honey Nut Cheerios. I go and pick them up, and I usually don't realize it until after I step on one, and it crunches to the floor. And then I have to sweep it up, too, besides just picking it up. Has that been resolved now? Um, not really, because now you switch to potato chips. And I just stepped onto the potato chips the other day. You just shove them in your mouth, and if it falls on the ground, you just leave it. You should pick it up and put it in the trash. Because if somebody steps on it, it crushes it to the ground. And then you can't just pick it up. You have to get a paper towel. You have to wet it. You have to pick every all the little bitty crumbs up. It's a mess. And you're a grown adult. You should be able to pick up after yourself. If, hypothetically, I kept dropping Cheerios or potato chips on the floor, and it got to the point where you just decided to leave. Okay. What would you do with your life then? The same I'm doing now. <laughs> so really, would your life change? Tom, you can stay. Let's talk about the Vikings now. Kirk Cousins is coming off a torn Achilles, so they either have to find a way to re-sign him or they have to start over. What should they do? I think they should sign him again. Because, well, actually, because I Because his know. wife is pretty? <clears throat> no. Is she pretty? Yeah, I think she's pretty. Very pretty? Yeah. I'd probably say yes, sign him, because the Vikings don't have a very good track record for finding any good players. So, I guess. This is kind of almost like what happened when we were dating and you had to make a decision on me. Like, it was like, I guess. I, guess. I called her up and I begged her. I was like, please, can you please give me one more chance? Total silence. And she said, I guess. <laughs> Gotta have somebody. You can't make a woman love you. But you can hang around until she stops believing in love. <laughs> what? I would say start over. Tom, you can stay. Start over. Tom, you can stay. I mean, what's, what's more important? What the Vikings do at quarterback? 
or that they bring in players who don't do the worm on defense. Look at the little celebration. You would have thought that they just won the whole game with that little, like, worm thing that they were doing in the end zone. They need a good quarterback. So this is even more important than not doing the worm. Let them do the worm if they want to do the worm. Do the worm. Priorities are a little messed up there, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. They need a good quarterback. So they need a good quarterback. Yeah. Do you think they have a plan? No. They should draft a guy for like two years from now, not to start next year, you know? Well, so. right, exactly. That would actually be thinking ahead and planning. But. So you don't like like Kevin O'Connell, the Vikings coach at a press conference. Oh, I'm going to go back, look at the film, and do better next time. i got to do better. Yeah, if I were his boss, I would tell him, I want a list of three or four things of exactly how you're going to do better and what you're going to be working on. You need results. If you want results, you need to be a little more specific. So, And the fact that he's a coach and can't state that, that should be very concerning to people. So, Unless he does have it in mind and just doesn't want to share his plan with people, which that could be the case. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so um, I was going to say something, but I forgot because you just kind of kept talking. Oh, yeah, in our marriage. So... Like, if you ever ask me for three or four things I'm going to work on to get better, like, what do I need to get better at, aside from the obvious? Which is what? Shoulder rubs. Do you you not like them, or you just don't like when I do them? (laughs) Um, I don't know. I think I'm just more sensitive to touch now. (laughs) You don't like being touched. Yeah, I wish somebody would pass me the laughing gas. So you don't like when I touch you? I guess. So you don't like to cuddle? No. What about with your daughters? Oh, yeah, I love it. (laughs) Okay. So it's just me. I guess. Well, they're little. You're not little. (laughs) You're too big. (laughs) So, well, you you would rather be married to, like, Danny DeVito? No. I'm puzzled here. Tom Brady's big. Tom, you can stay. Would you be down with him giving you a shoulder rub? Do you think he probably does better at it? Tom, you can stay. Any final thoughts on the Vikings? I don't know. You need someone making some decent decisions. I don't think there's anyone there making any good decisions that will help the team improve or get better. You sound kind of negative. Well, the only person who was starting to do well was... um, Kirk Cousins, and then he got hurt. And now where are you? He's with his wife, probably. Well, yeah. So so, jealous. so you asked if you should re-sign him, and I kind of said yes, because I don't have much faith in anyone on the Vikings that they would actually put some thought into recruiting or trying to get someone in there that might be good, so they're better off just having Kirk Cousins still on the team. Well, keep thinking about it. Once you have it figured out, what they should do, and, you know, maybe... Oh, I know what they should do. They should, they should hire Bill Belichick. <laughs> I think he's still looking for a job. Yeah, I wonder why. Nobody hired him. <laughs> he drove Tom Brady away from New England, so... Well, at least he'll make things happen. I think they should hire him, so... He made things happen after Tom Brady left, right? <sighs> Anyways. Well... It would be an improvement over what the Vikings have. Well, he'd certainly not be Minnesota nice. No, and frankly, quite frankly, I think that's what's needed. So, look at how well that's done for how long? When was the last time the Vikings won a Super Bowl? How long has it been? You tell me. You don't know? (laughs) Have they ever won a Super Bowl? No. Yeah. How long has it been since they've been to one? Uh, I don't know that either. It was, I believe, 1977. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Year before I was born. Yeah. Oh, right, right. The last I remember that from your little bit. <laughs> you got to make kinda, things happen. You got to like, work yeah, hard at it. Kind of like a marriage. <laughs> well, you actually have to do something to improve it. It's not going to just suddenly improve we got to be open to engaging with the other party and letting them touch you occasionally oh i know what we did for valentine's day we got the kids gifts and each other 
They exchange gifts. Okay. Yeah. You wrote me that way. that long note in the card. <laughs> you wrote like to the to our girls. You wrote like uh, a few sentences, like a novella to each of them, and then to me it was just like love. <laughs> yeah, I did. Do that. You just poured your heart into into the card you got me. I thought and the, the card was cute. And the the, um, the chocolate dip pretzels you got at uh, Cub Foods. You five like minutes those, earlier. Though. They're good. Yeah, I got them at Walmart. 